John Rizzuto, and you are listening to The Movie Raid. It's time for the movie Rain. Tonight's victim is actor and fight choreographer John Azuna that has played several films like The Infinity Project as well as Venom and amongst others. Hello. Hey Mike, how you doing? It's great to be on your show. What have we been up to lately that you are allowed to talk about at this moment? But uh, last, uh, last show of this month, uh, month of February, I got called on to the movie Matrix 4, uh, also known as Project Ice Cream. That's been a fantastic experience. Had a great opportunity to work with Keanu Reeves. The guy is phenomenal, as well as Terry and Moss, plays Trinity. Amazing scenes with these guys. I have been working on Venom too. Worked a bit with Tom Hardy, and actually last night, I shoot, wow, I mean, I'm mixing up my days. Early this morning, working with uh, Woody Harrelson. Just finished, and uh, we got some good releases on, and I have a few of them just ahead of me as well. I have to admit, it's been challenging, but it's equally, if not even by far more rewarding. The experience is just phenomenal. You know, just working with some amazing people, amazing opportunities. I, I never take anything that you know, I've been offered for granted by any stretch. I'm always so honored, so privileged just to be a part of it. You try to juggle between those two projects as well as, you know, uh, I have an upcoming project by the name of Demon Fighter, written and directed by David Espinosa. We filmed over in Fresno, so I'll be in Fresno for 20 days on that one. I have the lead role on that one. It's going to be a lot of great action scenes as well as just a tremendous amount of great storyline. And, and what, how do you utilize pressure and use it as a tool rather than a crutch? I've been in martial arts for most of my life. So, and when you go to a fight, and we're talking decades, we're almost 40 years that I've been in martial arts. And that that teaches you the, the way to, it teaches you, you know, a discipline, self-control. So it gives you the template by which you use how to address any life situation, particularly when, when things get very stressful. Nothing is more stressful than, let's say, ever being attacked where your life depends on your, your quick thinking. So in a given scenario, you know, when, when you're given you know, line streamer, or you're given a fight sequence that you have to do, and let's say they change it on the spot, and you say, you know what, we don't want that, we want something different, you just, you adapt with it, because you, you, you don't want to become uh, an animal that can't adapt to its environment that eventually becomes extinct. You have to adapt to a changing environment, and that's an effective martial artist, and that's an effective you know, actor and performer. And having to work with this type of pressure, it's an added element when you're doing this on set now, because not only are you trying to focus on trying to act out an emotion through this art to the another person, especially if the other person is not familiar with any kind of type of method. The studio on top of your shoulders too, and and as far as the workload and having to make sure that everything seen pulls out, even if they happen to cut some of it out. The fact is, having to get the emotion out and, and the ability out there without worrying about it, it just stay in focus. A person that pursues this area of your know, profession, or you know, or, or I, I never want to call it just. A hobby. It's not a hobby, you know. It, it, those that pursue it are pursuing their dreams, and, and in order to pursue your dreams, there are things that you have to consider. You're going to compromise your convenience. You're going to compromise your just day to day rituals. You're going to compromise sleep. You're going to compromise nutrition. You're going to compromise sometimes relationships. You basically do anything that you can to participate and be a part of it. And for those that ever want to pursue this, is just never give up. It, it doesn't matter how big or small a part is. It doesn't matter, you know, if you're working on a student film or, you know, an independent film, commercials, plays, whether it be theatrical, whether it be TV, whether it be, you know, film or animal movie, it doesn't matter how big or small, they're all stepping to stones rather to go towards your eventual goal. And that's to have just a you know, lot more opportunities. And what's so great about it is, again, you're going to come across so many people with different philosophies. I've had the good fortune of, of really coming across some great people. There are some people out there that are willing to lend a helping hand in one way or the other. And that's how we get there. We don't always get there on our own talent and merit. The hard work pays off. The assistance that we get from others saying, hey, you know what, I've worked with this guy named John. He was just a, a, a great employee. And that's essentially what it is. He just wanted to be a good employee. And he was always on time. You know, he made the extra effort. He did even more than what they were asking for. We want to hire this guy again. You know, so it's, it's establishing those relationships. You know, and, and, and the pressure's big, but, but it's, it's worth it. Now, having combined between acting and as, as well as a fight choreography, two arts in some environment, how do you maintain a balance without actually canceling out the other if you're doing both in, in one film? That's one of the biggest challenges. My next film, Game Fighter, I've had several. So I've had, in the last year, I've had three lead roles that require exactly that. You know, I, I'm, the, I'm the lead role. I, I've got fight scenes. I'm also the fight choreographer of all the actions that takes place. I'm in front of the camera. I'm behind the camera. It takes a balance. It, and what it does, it, it takes just simply organizing yourself. You're telling the story. Everybody has a different process. You literally have to write down the story, whether it be a fight scene that's going to happen when you're attacked by eight people in the airport, you know, and, and all of a sudden, you know, you're, you're, you're really dissecting it, you know, step by step. Into having a heavy, heavy, heavy duty emotional scene, you know, with, with maybe 
inhibit uh, it will pursue it. And you just live it as you go into it. You make certain decisions that, that hopefully have a positive outcome. But it's challenging, but it's, at the same time, at the end of it, once you reach the finish line, once you've done it, it the sense of accomplishment is tremendous. You, know, you feel so good that you were able to participate, contribute to hopefully that everybody that participates in that feels proud of the work that they do. I guess in a lot of ways, there really is not a lot of difference. You know, one is done through expression and emotion. And the other is done also in those same ways, but it, it may be a little bit more animated. But in, in both cases, you are telling a story. Because even if somebody's, you know, the, the escalation uh, of a fight scene, you know, starts with uh, some sort of conflict. It, it starts with, with a circumstance and a situation uh, that causes you to feel a certain way. And, and then it escalates into, like, the most primal instinct that we have is, and that's the instinct of self-preservation and then just becoming the human animal that we are and then doing that and you know, the range of emotions you feel is supported by the actions and then on the other end yeah you know you're, you're expressing every emotion everything that we do in life has some kind of emotional response attached to it and whether it be you know again it, it, it could be happy it could be sad it could be you know solid it could be lateness it could be boredom it could be indifference it could be just being stoic you know, it could be any one of those things but each one of those is an emotional response to a given scenario and we do it every day all day long without knowing but when we're acting it we're simply replicating and we're, we're drawing from our, our experiences so I think any really experienced actor does just that they draw from an experience they're familiar with the emotion they know the emotion that, that's supposed to be you know placed into that scene and, and it, it fluctuates and changes throughout, throughout the dialogue but, but they're familiar it's not unknown to them they know what's going on and in some ways in order to keep a sanity about it you do separate it okay this is a fight scene so we're going to really focus on just that okay i'm going to push that to the side or our dialogue scene and, and, and we're going to convey this that and the other this dialogue scene in the beginning you do absolutely separate it and work on them not the mind you really try to separate those functions so that they you have some sort of organization in your brain otherwise it would be chaotic it'd be absolutely and a lot of times if the other actors are, are, are put in, you know, holding and, and they're just put off to the side, I should stay on set. And I am watching and observing and learning from the most experienced actors. And I'm seeing the rituals of how they're preparing for a scene. I'm seeing how they're listening to the director and taking in the information. And I am taking mental notes as to, these guys are there. They're there. They're on top. How did they get there? How did they get there? And, and I just take those opportunities to just learn as much as I can while I'm on set. And that's it can value. As far as the martial arts aspect, uh, this uh, particular art, with this profession, do you think this is one of the few arts that can't really be manipulated or even cheapened down for the outcome? Or do you think it's just becoming a little bit too polished, a little bit so, quote, Hollywood? Regarding the actual martial arts portion of this, there's always going to be a difference between what is done in, in, in anybody's particular martial art, your rules to live by on that, how are they portrayed on set, and, and you have to make modifications. You, you can still keep the integrity of, of what you've learned, you can still keep the integrity uh, of the, uh, the characteristics of, of, of a particular style of martial arts, you can still keep it, but once you, you, you have cameras on you, you have to consider all the variables, camera angles, you have to consider the individuals that you're working with, the stuntmen, the stuntwomen that are working with you, the reaction times, the timing of it, the you know, the flow, you know, distance between one another, all of the particulars, all the details that, that make it very, very good. You call it martial artists, because that's exactly what they are. They are a form of artists. It is self-expression. Uh, it's taking, um, by definition, an art of war, utilized in the most practical sense possible to protect your life. I've been in situations in my life where I had to rely on what I've learned in order to save my life. You know, the, like I said, the most practical sense where somebody is trying to kill you and you simply have to do what's necessary to prevent that from happening or you use the, what they call the internal part of the, the martial arts to help you deal with extreme emotions and, 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 and a loss of extreme anxiety or a, a feeling of, of losing self-control. That helps with that process as well. So everything I've ever done in terms of acting, and, and I've done theatrical acting, uh, that is more, more of my, my um, with my, more of my foundation where when I started acting, everything I did was so relative to everything I learned in martial arts. Because in reality, you're creating a kind of a false narrative. You're, you're creating, okay, you know, you got five guys coming at you and they're going to go ahead and attack you. One has a knife, one has a gun, one has a club, you know, and, and they're going to just go, you know, come after you. You're interjecting, you're making this false scenario as real as possible because your life depends on it. But a lot of it is really unique because the crossing between one and the other has, you know, again, it's, it's so educational, but it, for me, I, I have the good fortune that I've been able to adapt to it. Oh.
always continue to teach yourself and always to learn from everyone and everything around you because if you keep in that motion there's so many different more new challenges to overcome and more and and i'm not going to say they're all good but th 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 that's the important thing about uh, of this what we call life and in terms of this profession in terms of as well as acting it's all about based on the experience learning teaching and influence and motivation and all this i mean these are all big words but this is the main focus and if you can't ha have that focus you're not you're really not going to succeed in too much of anything because you're going to be continually to doubt yourself all the time and you shouldn't be doing that at all nobody should you're right you know it, this, is a, this is a very unique industry I mean, it, it's like well it's like none other you know you're really compromising your humility you're, you're compromising yourself you're being uh, placed in a position where you're being uh, criticized and ridiculed for your appearance uh, in every characteristic of your appearance your height your weight your gender you know your, your, your athleticism your, you know every aspect of it you're being judged you know by you know obviously you're, you're ahead and plug in any websites that you'd like to promote anything that we can check out right now you know, anybody that wants to they can always follow me on on instagram uh it's just simply john uh ozuna both on facebook and instagram they can always find me there uh they can check out my imdb um you know how to listen to my films and whatnot i definitely have some films that are out that anybody can go and check out there's a film called the infinity project it has been out on amazon prime i my latest film cabal uh, C-A-B-A-L, again, written directed by Rene Perez, is due out March 24th, and all VODs, just all video on demand, all streaming, all cable services, anybody can go check it out. You know, yeah, they can contact me however they want to, and, and uh, you know, my school, uh, I've had my school for the last 30 plus years, it's called K.O. Kung Fu, uh, we can always be reached at kokungfu.com, been in San Jose you know, over 30 years, so it's been a wonderful thing. There you have it, everybody, that is actor, fight choreographer, John Ozuna. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Mike, you make it fun, buddy.